getting on the sewer. Sewer? 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 It's definitely not sewer. Sewer Highway on the Turnigan. Turnigan? Turnigan Arm. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Sunday, July 8th, we're at Walmart again, one of our sort of favorite places. Yesterday when we got here, we were whooped and we laid down for a nap and got a knock on the door. Somebody gave us a notice, you can only stay here 24 hours. Like, great, that's really all we wanted. But secretly, I think we wanted a little bit more. Um, so anyway, we woke up lazy today and uh, it's now 11.30. Dog's been out, she's been fed, she's been walked, and coffee is being made right now, and we're just kinda regrouping ourselves on the day. Gotta run out and get the tire fixed, um, and probably have our brakes looked at, and some other little things just to make sure the Dalton Highway didn't ruin us in more than one way. Another day, another trip to a tire store. Seems like we're spending a lot of time in these places. We are at Aliska Tires in Fairbanks. We're Looking to get out of town, but we need to repair our busted tire and, uh, and get another spare. Um, this is the only store in town that has our tires, and they actually have them in stock. So when you're in Alaska and something's not in stock, it could take two weeks. So we're just hanging out, waiting. Dalton Highway was brutal to all of us and all things that we have, except for the dog. She slept through most of it. Lucky her. Lucky her, she doesn't have to pay for a new tire. She doesn't have to fix one on the road, but she does need to go out. So we're gonna go for a walk while we wait. Right? Right? most annoying ball in the world, but she loves it, and she can't tear it up. So we made it to Denali National Park and uh, we used our National Park Pass to get in, except they didn't have anybody to take that National Park Pass. So we drove the 15 miles they allow you to and it uh, brings you to a pretty cool point where you look out over a little panorama. It's pretty nice, the dog likes to look too. Get back in there. Get down, get down, you're gonna hurt yourself. This little valley.
stay. It's gonna sound kind of snobbish, but uh, being here isn't that exciting. Um, we've seen mountains and we've seen wilderness and we've seen snow and we've driven mountains and we've driven through snow and um, it's pretty, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's not. It's not the cream of the crop. It's not what we're what we're all about. So we're just gonna drive back through, catch some dogs on their uh, what's it called? What their mushing dogs? Yeah, mushing dogs. dogs. We're gonna watch some mushing dogs do their little demo, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and uh, just get back out on the highway and head a little south toward the salt water. That was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Oh man. So earlier when I was talking, I talked to you guys about some of their characteristics. Now I want to talk to you about some of their physical traits that help make them superheroes. Now I'm going to need your help, but I promise this, I'm going to cheat and point to the answer. Okay? Here we go. Munter, it's you, buddy. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is this right here. What is this that I'm pointing at right here? The fur. Okay, good call. Here's the deal. Every superhero needs a cape, right? And that's exactly what their fur is. If you look at the outer layer of fur, you're going to see that it's a longer, coarser fur. So that, that acts kind of like a raincoat, so it sheds water, rain, snow, keeps them dry. If you look under their, their coat, you're going to see a much shorter, finer fur. It's also a lot softer. That's the fur primarily that's flying around nonstop in the kennels, you'll see, because they're shedding it. That's their insulator layer, so that helps keep them warm in the winter. Okay. That's pretty neat. What'd you learn? Uh, just about the Alaskan Huskies. They're different than like a, I guess like a pet husky. So the dogs actually work every day. And then in the winter, they do their work hauling stuff around, which is pretty cool. They're not just uh, for display and they're not just for racing. These dogs were, these ones that we saw were for hauling. But you can see like along the, the road here in Denali, they have a little area for them where they train, which is kind of cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> So we slept in this beautiful uh, parking lot, rock gravel area of Takitna, just outside of Takitna, Alaska, where we saw Denali in all of its splendor. It was absolutely amazing. Um, woke up, well, we fell asleep, and there are like 20 trucks and campers and stuff here. And we woke up at like 9, I woke up at 9.30 or so. Lindsay didn't sleep too well. So woke up and stepped out, and there was nobody here, um, which is kind of good. We just had our coffee, and now, Lindsay's going to launch our new drone for the first time. 
Apparently she needs me to hold it. We have... I'm afraid to take off from the ground. Can you do it from your palm? We have... DJI Spark. It's aimed right at me. Our other drone is pretty massive and we needed to have something we could take on a hike and throw up and see what's around, so... Lindsay's notorious for crashing our other one. So hopefully that's not the case here. And Everest doesn't know what to do. off at Turnigan Point. The tide's coming in. It is rushing in. It's here where you'll see beluga whales. We saw a bunch of people stopped on the side of the road so we thought we'd stop as well. It's probably too shallow right now. I mean, the, the water is coming in fast and there's only one place for the any critters to go. And it's right in this really narrow channel. Right across the way, there's flats, a sandbar, but if an animal is gonna come in here, it's gonna come right through this channel. We gave up on trying to find uh, the surfers on the uh, on the water, and instead we just kept on driving, and we found our campsite. Not too shabby. Everest is back to the bear bell. We've been told there's bears in the area. So we've got a nice little lake. And chef making din din. What are we having for dinner tonight? Um, kind of like a. Cheeseburger pasta, 
I like cheeseburgers. And I've got Brussels sprouts. Just kind of what we had in the fridge. Sounds good. It's cold, so we're staying warm and uh, enjoying being here. It's gorgeous. We're on slow speed, going nice and slow through the rest of our time here in Alaska and on down to British Columbia. We we're going to try to head on down to Homer, but I think we're just going to slow roll it and maybe try Sunday night to get a campground in Homer and hang out there for a couple days and go see what we can see. So this is home for the next little bit. Oh, and it's supposed to rain for the next two or three days. So uh, probably be running the generators. Solar's not gonna keep up with us uh, spoon docking out here. So we'll run the generators and keep the energy going. <laughs> 